Do you own a Shopify cat? If not, I'll show you what to shop for. And if you do, I'll show you how to get more out of it for home improvement and woodworking. Hi, I'm Sky. I design, build, and repair woodworking pieces. I'm opening up the doors to my shop to help you become a better woodworker. A vacuum isn't just a cleaning tool, it's also a tool to protect your health. Wood dust is known as a carcinogen, meaning it can cause cancer. Lungs and breathing airways can be affected by wood dust, so it's important to control it. The Occupational Health and Safety Administration outlines practices that you can use, and one of those is to extract dust where it's created. I'm going to show you all the parts of the vacuum and then get into how you can best use it. There are five main components to a shop vacuum. The first one that's obvious is the hose. The second one is the accessories that go on the hose. You can get different attachments depending on what you're looking to clean up. The third thing is the motor, and that's the main component here, the most expensive part of the vacuum. Now if I take the vacuum apart, you can see under here the motor is attached to a filter, and that filters the air that goes through the motor and gets ejected outside of the motor. And then the inside is just a canister. They're often on wheels. And in here, I've actually put a bag in to help collect that dust and prevent my filter from getting clogged up. The most important part of the vacuum system is the filter. It controls what air comes through the motor and out the exhaust. If you have a poor quality filter, you'll be throwing dust into the air that can damage your health. You want to use what's called a HEPA filter. This filters out particulate that is 10 times smaller than drywall dust, so very fine. The filter comes off usually just by pulling this out. And you can see here how clean this is on the inside. This vacuum I've been using for about a year. This is what a standard shop vac filter looks like. And I used this vacuum years ago without a HEPA filter. The drywall dust from home improvement projects caused the motor to burn out. When using a HEPA filter, I'd recommend using a vacuum bag. The HEPA filter filters out such fine material it'll quickly get clogged unless you use one of these. It's also a simple way to clean out the vacuum by just disposing of the bag and putting a new one in. A vacuum is not just for cleaning up a mess, it's also for preventing it. To extract dust from tools while you're using them, a good example is a sander. If you take off the dust collection bag at the back, you'll see that there's a port and plug that into your vacuum. This will suck the air through the holes in the bottom and extract the dust into the canister. This prevents a lot of the dust from reaching the air. But it's also important to understand you need a NIOSH approved respirator when dealing with wood dust. Dust masks aren't sufficient to protect your lungs. My circular saw has been a really dusty tool, so I've added on an attachment here on the dust chute that allows me to capture most of the dust. I ended up putting construction adhesive around here tapping in a screw, and this allows me to have a rigid attachment to put the hose on. This collects probably 75% of the dust from this tool. It's not perfect, but it's much better than it was. While well, shop vac works great for smaller tools like this, I don't advise it for larger tools like a table saw or a miter saw. A miter saw, for example, needs a dust collector, something that can move a large volume of air and pull the air and the dust with it. That's something that a shop vac just isn't made for. Are you ready to buy a shop vac? Here's what I'd recommend. First of all, choose a container size that meets your needs. These come much larger and a little bit smaller, but I'd recommend getting one that you won't have to empty frequently. The second thing is, make sure you use one that's got a HEPA filter. That HEPA filter is what's going to protect you from the harmful effects of dust. The worst thing you can do is suck up the fine dust particles and shoot them into the air that you're then going to breathe. And a public service reminder, wear a respirator because a dust mask doesn't protect you. The third thing is there's an innovation that's come out recently around quiet shop vacs. I wear hearing protection when I use mine, but there are some shop vacs now that are reducing the sound of the machines. So it might be a consideration and worth a few extra dollars. I hope this has really helped you understand what shop vacs are all about, how you can shop for them, and the different parts you can use. I'd love to hear your comments, and if you've got any tips around shop facts, love to hear those too. Leave them in the comments below. Until next time, enjoy your time in the workshop.